Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for attending this webinar about the Paris Region AI Challenge for Industry. Um, so today we are uh, uh, we are here to uh, discuss this uh, unique opportunity to uh, um, get um, some uh, some connection with the Paris Region ecosystem. So uh, I'm your uh, moderator today. I work for Choose Paris Region. I'm deep tech industry expert, and uh, I'm here to uh, help you have uh, the information you need uh, to uh, plan your uh, setup in Paris region. For those who don't know uh, Choose Paris region yet, we are the uh, innovation and uh, business catalyst uh, for uh, companies, uh, international companies willing to set up their business in the Paris region. We are uh, a global team of 80 people based uh, mainly in our headquarter in Paris and also uh, in our offices in the US and China. Uh, we support every year more than 1,000 international companies. So today our agenda is quite simple. I will introduce you to the Paris region AI ecosystem. Uh, then uh, the team uh, from Dassault Aviation will present the challenge, how it works, what it, uh, what it is exactly. We will then uh, enter in a Q&A session and uh, I will give you some next steps uh, and uh, some practical information at the end. So, um, let's get started with uh, an introduction to AI ecosystem of the Paris region. First, uh, Paris region is a leading economic and innovative region. Why? Uh, this is, uh, first of all, the, the, the world number one destination for foreign investments in R&D. It means that uh, people, uh, companies uh, from uh, abroad, um, uh, join an ecosystem that is really dense and really uh, able to uh, boost uh, their efficiency. Of course, it's a very important GDP, but most of all, it's an R&D expenditure of 20 billion euros every year. So it's uh, equ an equivalent to the R&D expenditure of the Silicon Valley. It's also uh, a very dense uh, startup ecosystem with 8,000 startups and many researchers in nearly all the existing fields of research. With 12 million inhabitants uh, and uh, more than 700,000 students, you can find the talent that you need uh, to uh, grow your business. But Focusing on AI, uh, what we have to offer is a complete AI value chain uh, that comes from research to the market. And uh, all these different steps uh, are presented in a short video that I will broadcast now. Uh, I wish you a nice video. I'm Axel Marie from Fujitsu. A position here in Fujitsu first is the CTO for France. That's why I'm taking care of uh, the Center of Excellence in Saclay. Two years ago, we decided to invest here in France, very specifically into uh, the Saclay area in Paris. And we decided to invest there because there is everything we are looking for. We can find the best of research, like in RIA, like uh, Ecole Polytechnique, CEA also the very best of the research in, in AI. We can find the best school here in France, uh, for the uh, engineering school, I mean, all the R&D center of the biggest company in France. This is not invest only to uh, have better business or to have a big business, but it's also to improve the research, to improve the academics and be part of that. I'm Enric Lopez. I'm Microsoft France AI director. So basically, I'm driving all the artificial intelligence uh, strategic initiative that we have in the French country. We are pretty convinced that France can be and can become one of the top five uh, AI leaders in the world. Uh, 
I'm Lois Bordic. I'm a managing director of Priceable in France. We are a tech company focusing on uh, real estate markets. Paris is the right place to be in for many three reasons. So first, talent, then financement, and last, the, the current French momentum. For the last two years in France, we've seen a very good momentum in terms of uh, new efforts from the public sector to, to support uh, innovation and startups. So you've seen some of the uh, references here to the uh, different AI research institutes, uh, CEA list, for example, in the Paris Saclay and in RIA, uh, the best of uh, AI uh, research. Uh, Leap6 as well, it's a very uh, powerful uh, AI uh, research lab um, based in the in the center of Paris, but there are also uh, universities from Versailles and uh, Ecole Normale Supérieure, uh, which are uh, some international references. Uh, we can connect you to, to these uh, AI research labs, but we can also uh, give you uh, access to this ecosystem through our partners, the uh, technology and innovation clusters, uh, I selected two of them. Uh, there are eight different clusters like this in the Paris region, but today we, we have the, the chance to, um, to partner with Systematic. Uh, it's a digital deep tech uh, ecosystem with uh, more than 800 members and Aztec, the uh, aeronautics and space uh, technology and innovation clusters with 200 members so far. So uh, you you can rely on them to uh, to connect you to the ecosystem, uh, like like we do. Uh, just um, an information about uh, the different uh, large corporation, uh, international corporation that chose Paris region to set up their R and D centers. Uh, it gives you an idea of uh, who you can work with. To uh, give you a, a piece of context uh, of this AI challenge for industry. Uh, I would like to uh, quote uh, Valérie Pécresse, our president, president of the Regional Council uh, of Paris Region. Uh, she wanted in 2018 uh, to the Paris region to become the world capital of AI. And it's already a very important region uh, as it uh, concentrates 40% of the French AI research. So uh, we invite you to join this uh, innovative region. Uh, and Valérie Pécresse uh, decided to uh, implement the, what she called the, the Paris Region 2021 AI plan with different points. The first was the creation of the first high school dedicated to AI, which uh, is already working. And uh, the, the region funds a doctoral scholarship program uh, for AI researchers and also uh, fund the AI challenges we are talking about today. So uh, it's time to give the floor to our three top speakers uh, from Dassault Aviation. Uh, first, uh, Fabrice Lebeau, who is a chief data officer. Stéphane Nachar, who is a structure data scientist. And Thibaut Perdry, uh, who is flight test data scientist. So thank you for being here. Uh, and um, it's time for you. Uh, to present this uh, AI challenge for industry. Thank you, Thomas, and good morning, everyone. Uh, so I am Fabrice Lebeau, Chief Data Officer of Dassault Aviation. It's a pleasure to introduce uh, this event today to everyone. Uh, just a few words about the Dassault Aviation Company. It's an uh, over 100 years old company, always been very innovative to make um, business jets and uh, military fighters. Uh, we today, uh, unveil uh, the, the future Falcon 6X uh, tonight at 6.30 uh, uh, p.m. Just for your information, if you want to, to follow the news on the, on the web too. Uh, 
So we started developing um, data-driven AI applications about five years ago within the company, and we are still growing in this business. And we want this business to to uh, to be done uh, in partnership with uh, with uh, companies, uh, brilliant companies, um, either startups, uh, small and medium companies, or medium-sized companies. We already have uh, an ecosystem in place, but we are always looking for uh, better and more innovative companies to work on the challenges uh, that we face as an industrial. We therefore have the internal skills uh, to, um, to mentor these companies during a challenge or after during a project. We will talk about this uh, after. So the idea two years ago was to um, still uh, be in partnership with the uh, Paris region and especially for uh, organizing uh, AI challenges. It is the first time we are going into such a big scale uh, artificial intelligence challenge uh, at the SO Aviation. We have already tried a few of them at, uh, at local scale, I would say, but this time will be a big one for us. So we are very pleased to do that in partnership with the Paris region. Um, so to, uh, Thibaut is, go is gonna present uh, um, the, the topic of the challenge. I'm gonna come back after a few minutes to uh, and make it clear on the timeline, on the schedule. And then Stefan will talk about how it will be run and which kind of equipment of a platform and how to uh, register. So um, my last word would be just to say that, uh, of course, we are a, a worldwide company uh, established since, uh, since uh, over 100 years in the Paris region. We are very glad to be here. We have the headquarters here. We have the research and development uh, skills here. So all the work that we will do mostly virtually during the challenge, but then more um, on a physical basis, I mean, if, uh, if the context is better, is recovering after one year, will be uh, done with us uh, from the Paris region. So let's go with, uh, with Thibaut to explain the topic. Thanks for your attention. Thank you, Fabrice. Um, hello everyone, so I'm uh, Thibaut Pertry. I work in uh, the flight test department as a data scientist. I'm uh, responsible of everything related to big data and uh, AI for the flight test uh, application and use cases. So regarding the topic of the challenge, the goal is to model vir virtual sensors uh, predicting uh, mechanical constraints on a Falcon business jet. And uh, this will be done only using onboard already available sensors. So first, um, you'll work through a, a learning phase in which you'll have to generate mathematical models from uh, two data sources. The first one is the onboard uh, sensors. Uh, that is uh, the, the sensors that uh, are on uh, all of uh, our aircraft, for, uh, for instance, a, a customer aircraft. Um, you can uh, you can have, for instance, uh, the altimeter, um, the control surfaces, uh, sensors, and etc. And the second source is the flight test instrumentation that we add only on our test aircraft, uh, such as uh, this uh, nose boom that you can see uh, here on on this image, um, which measures uh, the the air condition around the aircraft for test purpose. Uh, or you can also have uh, gouges uh, that measure mechanical constraints on a wing, for instance, like uh, the deformation of the wing. And then um, come the predicting phase, uh, where the math 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 mathematical models will simulate uh, a virtual flight test instrumentation only using onboard sensors. Uh, that way, we have more sensors on a customer aircraft and it will uh, help us for design purpose of, of uh, future aircraft. And it, it can also help with uh, predictive maintenance for customer aircraft. And um, I should also add that um, the challenge is more on IoT and health monitoring status and not completely aeronautics centered. So even if you don't work in aeronautics, you can still participate uh, to this challenge. Uh, only the outcomes are aeronautics center for us, but uh, it's more a challenge of uh, IoT and time series. Thank you, Thibault. So we'll go to the, to the questions at the end of the presentation. 
of course, don't hesitate to, to question us on the, on the details of the topic. So this is a, a very nice subject to us, very important subject, uh, and, and a lot of innovation is expected behind it. Now coming to the timeline. Um, if we are here today, this is because the application is open. You can register uh, to, the, to the challenge and the, the deadline for doing your application, for filing the application is by January the 10th, 2021, uh, midnight. So we still have a, a bit of weeks to, to do that, but time, uh, time is running and, and Christmas is coming, so, so, so don't hesitate to, to start soon. Um, mid of January, especially during the week of uh, January the 20th, uh, we will decide on who among the candidates can run the next phase uh, of the challenge, meaning submitting AI algorithm on the data platform of the challenge. We make a selection at the time based on your own description during the in the registration in the registration file sorry we make you make a description of your project how do you envision the the, the leading the project during the challenge your team and also after the the challenge is, is is done how do you plan to work in partnership with DASO on this kind of uh, topic but also in financial and other general information on your company so this is I would say the first stage is selecting 10 uh, based on this kind of various criteria, project description, financial, and general information. We, from the January 20th, we will enter the second phase of the challenge, which will be the run, uh, the opening of the data platform, uh, Coda Lab. And uh, you will have the possibility, after having submitted um, NDA uh, at the end of January, to start uh, working on the data and submitting algorithms from February 1st, 2021 to April 9th, 2021. At the end of the second phase, and only 10 candidates among the, the tens of candidates expected, uh, at the end of this second phase, we will have a, a submission, uh, a ranking first of the 10 candidates uh, based on the, the algorithms. Uh, train on the platform, but also um, based on, um, on a file describing the scientific aspects around the project. Stefan will describe more about this. And a jury made of uh, Paris region, Dassault Aviation, and, uh, and external people skilled with AI and expert in AI will decide on who is the winner of the challenge. Then we enter the third phase and last phase, which will be the uh, making of a project which will last from 12 to 18 months with Dassault Aviation. And this project will only be done between Dassault Aviation and the winner of the challenge. Of course, we will reveal the challenge in the media around June 2021. Initially, it was planned for the Paris Air Show, and since yesterday, you may know, the Paris Air Show is cancelled in 2021. So it will be a different way, but anyway, we will put that on the media stage uh, as for the announcement. And during the project, then come the interest, uh, the, the second interest for you and for us is that the Paris region is, is granting a prize as, um, is, uh, of up to 500K euro on the R&D effort you do to go on working with us. So if you, if you, uh, if you put, uh, for instance, uh, 1 million and you are a small medium company, um, the, on the table uh, in terms of R&D, the region will uh, reimburse you 500,000. So the conditions uh, of uh, this price depend on the size of your company and all this is described in the, in the, in the roles uh, in, uh, of, the, of, the, of the challenge that you can find on the website uh, where you register to the challenge. All this is clear, it depends on the size of your company. But overall for us and for you, it's quite a significant amount of money that you can get if you are the winner of the prize, uh, if you are the winner of the challenge. For the other ones, no gain. Uh, it will be uh, the, no financial gain, at least. It will be the mentorship between the Aviation and you for the time of the run. That is the added value to make you progress on your algorithms and to make you work on real industrial data. Because this is the last thing I wanted to mention in this introduction and schedule. Uh, it is that we offer a unique opportunity to run a challenge on real data coming from Dassault Aviation. And now let's go to Stefan to explain how to run algorithms for the 10 candidates that will be selected. 
Uh, Stefan is data scientist at, uh, at Vessel Aviation at the design office in the airframe uh, stress and design department. And he has a PhD and he will be the, the tech lead with uh, Thibaut uh, giving assistance for the flight test department during the challenge. And Stefan, if you can hear us, we uh, try to say what you should say uh, at the time. Um, we have a partnership not only with the Paris region and, and the competitivity centers that, uh, well, that uh, we mentioned at the beginning, but also with the University Paris Saclay, who is one of the best uh, French universities and ranking, ranked among the top uh, universities in the world. And they have developed a, a platform to run challenges. Uh, the platform is called Coda Lab. This is an open source challenge framework. And um, um, I am not. Uh, I will let Thibaut explain a bit more. Is here. But uh, the idea is that we um, offer two kinds of data. One data set that is open and that you can uh, download, uh, but it is very limited in terms of number of flights and data. You can download to, to, to understand better the physics at play and to run algorithms on your own uh, devices. And the full set of flights, were, and most of them for training and, uh, and evaluation, they are on the platform. And you basically, you can't download them. That, that's the only constraint. You can't download, but you can submit. It's a two-stage code competition. So you can submit your algorithms that you have developed locally, especially on the, on the few flights that are I would say, um, given you uh, to you in the starting kit, you can submit the algorithms to the platform to have the training done on the full set of flights. Thibaut, I let you give more precisions yes. if you can on the, on the computing uh, platform. Until uh, Stefan manages to come back. I feel no. like you, you've pretty much uh, summed up uh, the, the whole thing. But uh, li like Fabrice said, you have um, two uh, data sets. The first one you have access to completely, but it's a small one with only three flights. And uh, this will help you to understand the data. And you can try some algorithm on this. But uh, once you want to start on uh, working on, on a bigger data set, uh, you have to develop your algorithm and submit your algorithm to a dedicated computing server on which you have a way bigger data set with uh, more than 100 flights, uh, real flights, of course. And uh, on this um, server, uh, your model will be computed and will be uh, evaluated on uh, flight sequences that we chose specifically uh, because they are of uh, interest for us, such as uh, turbulence, um, uh, landing, etc. And then the platform will give you back um, some uh, metrics to uh, help you decide um, if your model is good uh, and where is it good. And uh, based on this, you can uh, you can based on the logs and based on the metrics, you can adapt your algorithm and then train again. So you won't see the data that's on the um, the server uh, for. Uh, confidentiality uh, issue, of course, but you have these free flights that you can have access to uh, with uh, over with almost two, um, 200 parameters. Okay, maybe I can add something about um, the challenge frameworks, uh, the challenge platform. Uh, normally you can use, you, you can start uh, a new project, uh, a new software from scratch uh, in during the challenge. So uh, normally the submission of the challenge is on Python, but you can also have uh, your specific application, your specific um, software to, to build your model. And you can use that on the platform. You just only need to, uh, to ask us before the challenge uh, to, to see if we have some technical problem to do that. Or you can do, build a, a Python wrapper to 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 ask uh, to to submit uh, your uh, your own software inside the platform, even if your software is not in Python. Okay, so now we will talk about uh, how you can apply to the challenge and when. So Fabrice, you you Fabrice gives us uh, the, the period, the application period. Uh, if you go to the, the website chooseparisregion.org news Paris Region AI Challenge for Industry 2020, 
you will have some more information about the challenge and also the, the, the paper you need to apply to the challenge. So you will have a screening questions, uh, a paper with uh, some question about your R&D team, the team during the challenge and project on similar team to, for, to help us to choose your company uh, to the to the, the run, and you will you, you need also uh, to give us uh, some information about your company, so the general purpose, financial and security information, and also a company letterhead with your name and your assets. And uh, Fabrice, you you talk about that before, but who can apply to this challenge? So it will be company from the EU, UK, and Switzerland with a plan to set up in the Paris region within six months from November 2008. They can be already established in the Paris region, but at least to yeah. be eligible, they need to commit to establish a permanent team in the Paris region um, to be, to be uh, eligible candidates among the tens. And in order to do so, uh, Choose Paris Region is a dedicated uh, organization to support uh, the setup plan of uh, foreign companies. And thank you for that. Uh, so a company who can candidate, uh, they must be either a very small, small or intimate size business. So it will be a firm uh, with fewer, with less than uh, 500 uh, employees with annual sales in Texas City, when we mill five, uh, or a balance sheet total not exceeding two billion, and which is not affiliated to a larger group. Um, you can, your company can be associated to some other private company or an or a public or private laboratory. So you can build a group and. It will be one application per group. So don't hesitate to uh, build some partnership with a public or private laboratory. It's a good, it's a good way to, to improve our, uh, our competence uh, about uh, AI and uh, discover more uh, new aspect of AI. Yeah, thank you, Stefan. So you see both the Paris region and the association who are very open-minded to the, in terms of criteria for eligibility. The only thing we, and, and we, we offer you the, the, the choice of, of grouping each other to, to make your different skills match together to be the best for the challenge and for the project that will follow. So um, it's, uh, it's almost time now for questions. So as you understand, and I wanted to summarize this, if, for the association and Paris region, it's a unique opportunity for you to develop your skills on a very concrete subject uh, based on data which come directly from us. You understood that we don't offer them uh, visible for all the set of data, but some of them, and you train your algorithms on the actual real data, which is quite unique in, in the field of artificial intelligence uh, challenges. This is a, a subject on mostly on time series regression, uh, we can come back on the questions uh, and therefore as an IoT subject time series regression, it has business uh, capabilities beyond the aerospace industry. And that's also why we decided with the Paris region to choose this subject. So we hope it will bring some interest to you and we are available to answer your questions. Thank you. But people are welcome to, uh, to send their question. Uh, I will give some uh, more information about uh, next steps um, and especially uh, how to get ready to uh, to uh, compete uh, there will be uh, there will be a FAQ uh, made available in French and in English uh, mm -hmm. in the coming days so uh, you will also have all the details uh, about uh, technical aspects and uh, uh, ways to, uh, to apply. Um, read carefully the application documents. Uh, you can find a link in the uh, chat uh, to uh, have direct access right now uh, to this uh, web page in English for, for you to, uh, yes, to download the document uh, and uh, fill it uh, in 
uh, easily. Uh, we uh, also uh, advise to uh, to watch a detailed pre detailed presentation made uh, ten days ago um, in French, but uh, which contains a lot more details about uh, the uh, technical background and uh, the the yeah uh, a detailed presentation. Uh, we have a question right now. Uh, do we speak only uh, of a uh, solution for embedded system or uh, do we consider a dedicated solution uh, for the production chain? Uh, so actually, I, I would answer both. Uh, we are driving this challenge from data we have the most and uh, clean data that we can label, segment, and, and uh, run AI on. And so far for the aviation, these are flight test data. But in the next future, the outputs of these technologies will be both for industrial uh, aspects and flight test aspects. We are talking about optimization of the, the, the aircraft. In the challenge, yes, but the outcome is much more general and could apply to uh, uh, robotic data as well as um, aircraft data. Thank you. Okay. So um, feel free to get support from Choose Paris region. We uh, are here to answer your question. Write, um, send your, your question to me at thomas.fovel at chooseparisregion.org. Uh, I can also uh, be uh, your um, support to uh, find a partner in the Paris region. As uh, Fabrice said, uh, you, you can um, have uh, a, a local partner that will enhance your uh, application by giving more academic background or uh, more expertise. Um, this is something we can do for free and help you uh, uh, easily uh, to connect with uh, some of the uh, numerous uh, academic competences of the Paris region. Like uh, the one I already showed. Uh, and also some private public uh, initiatives uh, called Prairie uh, and uh, Data IA, uh, which are really uh, concentrating a lot of uh, the uh, best of AI research in Paris. I will also add to this uh, presentation as a next step uh, that uh, soon uh, there will be an, another AI challenge for health because uh, this is a top priority uh, also of the Paris region. And this AI challenge will be uh, dealing with oncology data coming from two uh, large partners, Assistance Hôpitaux Public de Paris, APHP, uh, this, um, this is also a, a second uh, challenge with Institut Curie. Uh, the total grant for these two challenges is 1 million euro and it works approximately the same as uh, the one we, are, we have presented today. Uh, and it, 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 uh, it opens uh, next week and will be closed uh, mid-February. I uh, invite you to follow uh, the news of the digital transformation of the, of the Paris region. It's a newsletter mostly for AI business developers. Uh, so subscribe now and receive every two or three months uh, a newsletter giving you insights of the market, uh, events, and uh, much more to develop your business. So thank you very much. Uh, we uh, reached the end of the presentation. Uh, today we, we had a, a great time with Dassault Aviation. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, that's, uh, that's all for, for today. Thank you very much. Thank you Thibaut, Fabrice, Stéphane for joining thank us you. today. Thank, thank you. you everyone. And hopefully we'll uh, get your uh, registration soon or uh, any question. Bye-bye. Have a nice Bye -bye. day. Bye.